that I just was privy to. Okay, well, he had the pump and dump scams where he was getting people to buy crypto. He had his original channel where he got over 20,000 people on it. And then him and Max Egan declared that that was a scam channel, even though it was their real channel. But they used it to get 20,000 people and then started scamming the people. And when people started catching on, they just created a new channel and pretended that the old channel that was really theirs was a scam channel. That was their biggest scam. Then they did the fake passport scams where they actually took over $25,000 deposit from people saying they could get them passports illegally, stole over $2.5 million, got people arrested. Then there's all the time that Jeff sexually assaulted women. He got a bottle broken over his head. There's a video of him on a reality show trying to hit on a guy's girl in the club and the guy beating him up. I posted the clip to that. And then there's a little known sex crime of Jeff Berwick and his wife that nobody's talking about. They were in Argentina, and Jeff was hitting on a man. Yes, Jeff is bisexual. And he was hitting on a man all night and tried to force the man to have sex with him in the bathroom. And when the man refused, Jeff and his wife tried to file charges of rape against the man. When it went to court, the court determined that Jeff and his wife were lying, and instead they filed charges of sexual assault against Jeff. Jeff fled Argentina, or he would be in jail right now for sexually assaulting a man. There you go. So that's Jeff Berwick, Dollar Vigilante, George Soros affiliate, sexual assaulter of both men and women, scam artist extraordinaire, crypto pump and dump guy, and now we know why they're so afraid of talking with me, because they knew I would figure shit like this out and expose it.